welcome to another grocery day. We are all loaded up in the car. We've got the air on, so if you hear it blowing, I'm sorry, but it is hot. <laughs> we are loaded up to go get our Walmart grocery pickup order. Actually, it was supposed to rain, but it looks like it's going to hold off, so I told the kids I'd take them to the park first, so we're going to go do that and then go get our groceries at Walmart. If you're new, my name is Tiffany. This is our small town life. We do all kinds of lifestyle and family content here on this channel, as well as weekly grocery hauls. However, this week's grocery haul is gonna be a little bit different. I did a two week grocery shopping haul <laughs> this time. Baby boy should be here any time now. So I thought, let's go ahead and get enough for two weeks. That way we just have plenty of food in the house. And my hair is wet because we got home really late last night and I didn't want to wash my hair and go to bed with it wet. And I forgot I don't have a hair dryer. I was like, oh, I'll just get up and wash it in the morning. But y'all, I've not blow dried my hair in Dennis like over a year. And even before that, it was very rarely. And so in my blow dryer, tore up. I just threw it away and never got another one. So we rock in the wet hair this morning. It's okay. We're going to go on and get these kids to the park. You look like you're ready to go play. You ready to go play? We're going to get these kiddos to the park and then go pick up our grocery order. When we get back, I'll kind of show you what I'm thinking for meal plan and show you what we got at the grocery store. are shooting basketball and I'm sitting here watching them and I thought I would tell you I spent $175 this week for the two weeks worth of groceries which is pretty good because if I had done two separate grocery hauls I'd have probably spent closer to $250, $230, somewhere around in there. So that's good. The only things I should have to get next week is maybe some more milk, bread, Maybe some fresh fruit. We'll see. But anyway, that's what I spent. We're going to sit out here and enjoy this nice weather for a minute. I'm going to go sit on that bench, watch them play, and then head on to Walmart. Well, we are home and we managed to squeeze everything on the table. Before I show it to you, I'm going to go ahead and show you a picture of the, well, I started to say this week's meal plan, but it's for the next two weeks. There's going to be a lot of simple things, but there's also some homemade or semi-homemade things as well. We're going to grill some hamburger steaks and make some biscuits and gravy. We're going to try a blueberry french toast casserole that I saw Fallon at Moss Family TV make. But then there's lots of easy things like pizza and hamburger helper. So <laughs> that's what we got going on. I'm going to show you all of the groceries. Let's get started because there's a lot of it. We need to get this frozen stuff put away. Another quick little message, something I was going to tell you. I had 10 substitutions, y'all. 10. I don't think I've ever had that many. Um, and a couple of them I didn't want. So we had to run in the store. Like, they tried to substitute Mellow Yellows with Mountain Dews. Justin would not be having that. And then the sausage that they were going to substitute was a brand that I'm just not real crazy about. So I went in and got... A different sausage so I'll try to remember to point out the substitutions as we go there was a bunch of them Easton wants to come in here and help me so I'm gonna get started and then he can come in and help all right so they didn't have Melly yellow so what do we get instead Easton when we went in uh, Cokes. yeah that's one of dad's favorites Cokes if you can't have Melly yellow mm -hmm. and then some clear American strawberry sparkling water a big thing of Dr. Thunder and a little story about that. Easton was sitting back in the back when they loaded this stuff up and he heard him talking about how the box was broken and should we tell her the box is broken? No, nah, we'll just put it in there. Then when we got home and opened the back of the car, some of them fell out and busted. So 
there's that. What we got down here in the cherry? Waters. Waters. A whole bunch of water. Some milk for us and milk for who? Um, Daddy. Daddy, yep. He needs, his he needs his fair life. This was another substitution. I had ordered the donut shop and they substituted with this blonde. I don't know. I guess Justin will try it. Hey, bud, what are these? Eggs. Eggs. What about this right here? Oh, let's not forget this. What's this? Syrup. Syrup. For bread, what have we got? Y'all want to show us? Bagels and white bread. Bagels, white bread, and some sweet Hawaiian rolls. Fallon used these to make that blueberry French toast casserole. So what else do we need for that? Blueberries. Blueberries. We've also got some bananas and a couple bags of frozen broccoli to have as sides. This was a substitution. I had ordered a bigger bag of rice. They substituted two smaller bags. And then we needed some more chocolate chips. Here's another substitution. I had ordered a bag of the little cubes and they gave us a two pound block of Colby Jack cheese. Some slices of cheddar cheese for sandwiches. Huddy, do you know what this right here is? Um, what is that? Easton, can you tell them what it is? Cream cheese. Cream, cream cheese. cheese. We needed this for a couple things. We've got two packs of cream cheese. This one we put on our bagels, right? So some strawberry cream cheese. I got two of these body armors to put in our hospital bag, actually, for Justin. I packed some strawberry banana ones for me, but he does not like the strawberry banana. Uh, so I got an orange mango and a tropical punch to you throw in there as well. Yeah, this one is Justin's favorite. Mm -hmm. Some snacky kind of things. We've got donuts. There's some powdered donuts and some chocolate donuts. Some s'mores pop tarts. Some yogurt for Justin. This is another thing. I thought I had forgot to put it on the pickup order. So while we were in Walmart, I got two of them, and then they were loading it in the car, and Easton was like, Mom, you put some on the order too. So we've got three of the key lime and one blueberry for him, and then just a big thing of the vanilla, because the, the kids, and I do too, like to have this with some granola in it. And Easton saw these while we were in the store. You want to pick them up and show them? Twix yogurt. Twix yogurt. He saw that in the store and really wanted to get it so lots of yogurt going on a big pack of the chocolate chunk granola bars I had to think the, the words were not coming to me and then this was a substitution I had ordered a different pack of great value variety chips but they substituted for that one several different ramen noodles I got four just of the packs of the chicken ones these are what Justin prefers to have and I like this kimchi one so I got me one of those What's this back here? I know you kiddos are excited about it. Ice cream. Ice cream. This one was a substitution. I had ordered cookie uh -oh. dough. A dent. dent. Oh, it'll be okay. I had ordered cookie dough. They gave us cookies and cream. And then I also ordered a Neapolitan. Easton's going to go ahead and put these in the freezer for us. I also got a bag of biscuits. I usually make my own biscuits, but every once in a while, we like to have these as something easy. We were also out of waffles, or actually there may be two waffles left. I fixed us some this morning, so I knew we needed some more, and these will be something good just to have in the freezer, so waffles, and we also needed some more butter. Easton's got us a tower going over here. He helps set up the table, and then on top of the butter is some cinnamon rolls. Here's another substitution. I had ordered a big, like, 12, no, 10 count box of these Uncrustables, and they substituted two four count boxes and adjusted the price. Hang on just a second, okay. For cereal, I got some honey bunches of oats and some cocoa pebbles. And then those chocolate chips you saw, they're to make some lactation cookies, and I also needed some more old-fashioned oats and ground flax seed. I had ordered a couple of other ingredients off of Amazon that I've had for a while for those cookies, but needed a few other things. This one's a substitution. I feel like I've said that a million times already. I don't even remember which one I actually ordered, but this is what they gave me. And then I also ordered this one. Huddy's got something to show us. What is that? 
turkey, turkey. for sandwiches. We've got some bologna left in the refrigerator, but got some turkey. What else you got right there? Pepperonis. Pepperonis. This is a sausage I ended up getting while we were in the store. We still had one chicken pot pie in the freezer, so I got four more. This is something that's really easy that we enjoy. It's a blackened chicken Alfredo from Zatarian's. I've still got some garlic bread in the freezer too, and so I thought we would do that one night. We've got some of these Totino's pizza stuffers. Another thing that I saw Fallon from Miles Family TV get, and I've got a box of the pepperoni, and then I had ordered just a four count box of the triple cheese, and I substituted for an eight count. I think we've gone through all the food. Are we ready to do non-food now? Did we get all of the food? Not Maybe. Food. I've got one other little thing over here on the counter that I'm gonna show in just a minute. Let's go to non-food. <laughs> Kitty cats needed some food, so we got some for them. Got just some styrofoam bowls, paper plates to make mama's life easier. The boys are so excited about this. They are ready to go try it out. They have begged to go ahead and open it. And I said, hang on just a minute. Buzz Lightyear no. mouthwash. And I got me this deodorant right here to try. It's the Arm & Hammer Essentials oh, Juniper. Juniper Berry. It smells really good. I didn't, I didn't open it up and smelled it. Oh, no. Well, open her up and smell her. That's good. Let me see. Everybody's smelling the deodorant. Smells like clean laundry. Well, I'll take it. The last couple of things we've got down here. Hey, buddy, can you scoot over just a second? He's okay. Just be patient with him. Some paper towels and some toilet paper. <laughs> and here's those last few things that I was going to mention. If you know, <laughs> you know. Um, this is what you need to make what they call the midwife's brew supposed to help baby come along and make their hindrance. I've not decided yet if we're going to try this or not, but I got the things and thought, well, I'll stick them in the pantry. If I decide to try it, I'll have it. Uh, it actually calls for apricot nectar, but they didn't have it. And they say the next best thing is mango. So we got that. Some almond butter. Tea that has lemon verbena in it. And that magic ingredient castor oil. The kids are already busy putting everything away. You want to come stand by me? Mm -hmm. Okay, he's pulling my chair up. So we were putting things up and it made me realize that they didn't give us, I ordered a big huge box of fruit, like variety fruit cups. They didn't give them to us, so I'm going to have to check on that. Do these need to come out the bag? No, baby, you can just put the box in the door of the refrigerator. It's bad. Yeah, it's bad when they don't give you something you ordered, isn't it? We'll deal with it. Um, what else? Was there something else? Um, I don't think so. Maybe that was it. We're going to finish putting everything up. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, what do they need to do? Um, subscribe, y'all. Hit yeah, that button. Yeah. Join our family. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Thank mm -hmm. you.